The hellfire awaits you, Isaac. I do hope you realize this, because it is your ultimate realization of your own damnation that will give me the pleasure of knowing that I am truly doing the work of God. Oh, Isaac. It could have been so beautiful, your life. But you had to go and throw it all away. And we would have even given you forgiveness. But even his unfathomable forgiveness is not enough to overlook what you've done, Isaac. You even embrace the tower. You even embrace the dark tower that lives with the Crimson King. You son of a bitch. How dare you. How dare you pledge your allegiance to the Crimson King, the devil himself. Oh, Isaac. Look at you. Wearing a crown. You're not even worth wearing a crown of thorns it would be a blasphemy to even give you that kind of sacrilegious pain embracing invincibility eh merely temporary I can guarantee to you that merely temporary Oh, now you go to an arcade to gamble. Oh, what sins I have passed down to my son. Why was I given such a son? What have I done? What have I done to deserve such shame? <sighs> you like hurting me, don't you, Isaac? You take joy in it. You take joy in sin. That is, that is the key flaw in your life. Not just that you sin, but the fact that you enjoy it. That just tears me up. It makes me want to rip out my own uterus so that I may never have another child again. No more children. Ever. Hmm. And now you eat. And now you must feed. A. Eh? Is that how it is, Isaac? Well, you can drink all the chocolate milk you want. Drink it all, Isaac. Because when you die, the only thing that you'll be drinking is brimstone. Unconcentrated pure brimstone oh god oh my god such an abomination is a good match for you Isaac and this is only the weakest of the sins that will face you in hell do not worry Isaac this is but the bottom of the barrel. Or the the beginning. This is only the beginning. Your true punishment will come at a later date. Do not worry. Come on down to the depths, Isaac. Come down to the depths. Down to Necropolis, where I live. Come down to see your mother, Isaac. Don't you want to see your mother? Don't you want to see the one who gave you life? I know you're not that spoiled rotten that you wouldn't even want to embrace me in your final moments, Isaac. Come now, Isaac. You can't fight against it. Don't you know, Isaac, that it is your final fate to be killed by me? 
It was given to me as a holy mission by God himself. Come along, Isaac. Maybe God will shine some kind of forgiveness upon you if you just come peacefully. Offer me your neck. And maybe, maybe you'll only last ten million years in hell rather than an eternity. Come on, Isaac. Just come to your mother. You're making it so much more difficult than it has to be. Come along, Isaac. I'm waiting for you. We can finish this at any time. You name the place and the hour of the date. Because in the end, the time and the place don't matter. Because I can wait forever. Isaac, just come to me, son. My little baby boy, come to me so that you can be with me one last time. I know that's what you really want, Isaac. I know we can have it be like it was before, before you had to go and break my heart, before you had to go and create such blasphemy. Just come here, Isaac. You can give up. Let go. But you won't give up, will you? You are so resolved against me that you would never give up. Your sin is so out of control that it will not relent for even a moment. It will not even allow your judgment to become unclouded for even the briefest of moments. Oh, Isaac. My little baby boy. What happened? Something must have happened, surely. When did the devil become your sole parent? When? Isaac, did you throw away everything that I ever once slaved to give you, Isaac? When did this happen, Isaac? You don't care, do you? You don't care. Your pride will be your undoing. You've just run into so many of your personal sins, Isaac. It is almost incalculable the number of sins that rushes through your body, through your very veins, through your very brain, at every instant of your life. It's just a never-ending pool, a never-ending spawn of evil. And for that reason, you must be eliminated. Don't worry, Isaac. I'll make sure it's quick and clean. Quick and clean. You don't need to worry anymore, Isaac. Just one more boss, and you can come see me. And we'll have a little talk, Isaac, about exactly who you fuck with, and who you don't fuck with. And the number one on that list, Isaac, is your mother. Try to hide behind the mask of infamy, my friend, my dear little colleague. 
But don't you worry. The mask of infamy falls before your might, Isaac. Yes, your supposed might. <laughs> Perfect, Isaac. You cocky little bastard. You dare. You dare. You dare to use my own knife against me, Isaac. You will find that this will not stand. <laughs> oh, my dear confused little baby. You misbegotten child. Justice will be served, Isaac. But it will not be the kind of justice that you seem to think is owed to you. It will be God's justice. And no other justice counts. Because I'm not doing this, Isaac. You, you did this to yourself. And that's the saddest thing of all. It wasn't that it was thrust upon you, Isaac. It's that you did it to yourself. And I want to see that knowledge in your brain as I kill you. You dare to even kill other babies. Rar babies. The most holiest of babies. How dare you? How dare you even try? Just sacrifice yourself, Isaac. You have the knife. You could easily kill yourself. It would be so much better than what I have in store for you and for what God has in store for you, Isaac. Because no matter what punishment that you think of, it could not even equate to one one-thousandth of the punishment that you will receive in the first instant of being enveloped in hell. Isaac. Just give it up. Give me back my knife. You're giving me my knife. You're delivering it back to me. Thank you, Isaac. Now I can kill you just the way I always wanted to. Just the way that God told me I should kill you. So bring the knife to mommy. Just bring the knife to mommy. And we'll end it. Mother to son. No other people. Just the final showdown between good and evil. Lovely. Oh, your lust even goes beyond the bounds of vaginal reach. Oh, why? You even embrace it. You even embrace the super of lust. You sick bastard. You've seen every sin there is. You've faced them and you've taken them into your body. And you even try to masquerade as me. The holiest mother. Oh, Isaac. Oh, Isaac. One day you'll see. When you're burning in hell, you will be given the knowledge exactly how little this hurt me to kill you. And how much enjoyment it gave me to kill you, Isaac. Because it's what I've wanted to do for a long time. Because I didn't, mean, I didn't even need God to tell me that you were a sinful little baby that didn't allow, 
didn't need to be allowed to live. I could tell just from how the people on the internet talked. I, of course, do not go on the internet, but the people on my Christian television program tell me exactly what the people of the internet do. And quite frankly, it sickens me. 